Hey guys, hello and welcome back to our coverage of WCS America, a qualifier uh, to get into the premier division. We already have 24 players in that spot and we're waiting on eight more. Of course, we're going to be covering this tournament uh, not only this weekend, but throughout the following week, next week, or this upcoming week. So so make sure you tune in each and every day to find out who gets those eight spots. I'm Axel Toss, joined by uh, Axelab and Total Biscuit, who's on Skype. Total Biscuit, thanks once again for joining us. Hopefully you're having a good time so far. It's PvP, and it's two great players playing PvP. Now, yes. if you'd ask me in Wings of Liberty whether I like that, I'd be saying, no, can I please just go and do <laughs> something else? But no, in, in Heart of the Swarm, it's actually great. The addition of the Mothership Call makes this matchup so much more interesting, mm -hmm. as does the prevalence of Stargate play now. So and there's the all sorts of crazy things. Speaking of prevalence of Stargate play... Right. Go yeah, on. I don't even get a chance to intro these guys. Look <laughs> at that, JYP with the proxy pile on. And this time, it's a proxy gateway play here by JYP. Gosh. Okay, so we had uh, a rules of engagement during the show, actually, when we were watching the Game Battles <laughs> tournament. Uh, of course, rules oh, of engagement, yes. for those who don't know, is Axla's show where he talks about how to be awesome in StarCraft. You definitely check it out. But we had a Game Battles tournament where, like, the final four players all decided to proxy gateways. <laughs> and I think we decided it wasn't very good. But we only see one proxy gateway here from JYP, so I feel like this is something that could work. Nick, I need your thoughts on it. I, I don't think it can work, man. I don't know why JYP's doing it. <laughs> Like, it, we saw it work in a Game Battles tournament the one time, but it was, like, the weirdest reaction ever. Um, it, it, it shouldn't work. Like, even if he doesn't scout it, as soon as he sees the first sell it, he'll just build a Mothership Core. And he'll Chrono Boost it. And it only takes, it takes 30 seconds to build. It builds faster than sell it. There's, nah. Well, actually, wait. If he goes one gas, doesn't have enough gas, and he doesn't think about canceling the Warp Gate tech to get the Mothership Core, then it might work. But... I, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a believer in the proxy gate, personally. He's saving for two as well. Yeah. Well, a smart thing to do as well. The last thing he wants to do is reveal that almost immediately. The Alicia's build with the two gas. This is why this is kind of a neat trick by JYP, is that he knows Alicia's been going two gas very early every single game. So he knows that he's been skipping the Zealot in order to get that Assimilator out a little bit earlier. So, yeah, I mean, he could actually do damage here. There, is, there aren't just no units on the field, as you said. Warp Gate Tech just started and just got cancelled. And there's a probe coming in here as well, and JYP just going for it immediately. Chrono boosting there on the Mothership Core, as you said. That pylon's under threat, though. It is, it is. He's got to protect that pylon, uh, at least until the Mothership Core can get out, and its extra damage can really help him out. But he's about to have both a Stalker and, and a Mothership, Mothership core. core. Two units that Zealous can't really do too much against. Of course, uh, the Stalker can micro against him in the Mothership Core as well. A flying unit. Zealous can't shoot up. Not yet, at least. Uh, nope. So JYP right now is just going to try to get as many probe kills as possible. If he can track down the Stalker, that would be great. But well, Alicia... He almost, Alicia almost trapped his own Stalker right there with his probes actually going in with the probes there and finishing. He's going to finish that off. But I, I don't oh, know whether the Stalker! I'm... Oh, losing the Stalker as well. That's unfortunate. Okay. That is unfortunate. I actually feel this worked out pretty well for JYP. I it think did. He got enough probe kills. Uh, and yep. now he followed up with his own Stalker. One to one, Mothership Core actually beats the Stalker unless the Stalker kites. But now JYP is starting to use that extra range and speed of the Stalker uh, to kite against it. Alicia had to pull back that Mothership Core. Actually, it looks very even in probes. Alicia has two gateways, though. What did JYP have back at his base? Let's take a look. Gate and okay. core. Very even. Yeah. Uh, although JYP may lose that proxy gate and pylon, which will put so him a little bit So, Alicia could have handled that? How, how much better could Alicia? Handle that. Uh, he could have canceled the second gate and not cut probe production. Okay. And then he would have had about three more probes here. But that's something that's like when you're in the game, you're you're not going to think of that, right? You're going to think, oh, I need the second gateway. Um, this is a really, really hard decision to make. Right. Well, he's just going to take this down now. He'll kill the pylon just to disable the gateway for the time being. Follow up is going to be Twilight Council here from JYP. The question is, what is he planning on doing with it? With only one active gateway. Interesting. He's, of course, mining both of his gases. What do you reckon, Nick? What would be your follow-up from this kind of position? I know it's a kind of weird play, it so it's hard to say, oh, yeah, the standard follow-up to that kind <laughs> of proxy play is, it's like, well, is, on, this DT, I mean, is this DT or is this Blink Stalker? On ladder, I would say it's almost for sure I'd expect DTs. But uh, given JYP, I, I would think Blink Stalker. Um, just I think it's slightly more likely. It could still be either one, though. In fact, is he? Yeah, it is DT. So it is going to be DTs. Uh, both are kind of equally likely, though. Uh, either one can work. It depends how far behind or ahead you think you are. Uh, DT is slightly more risky. 
Blink Stalker is, is uh, you know, if you think you're ahead, it's a great way to finish the game. So Alicia only has uh, three gateways here. You know, we don't see a Stargate, we don't see a Robo, which of course are your your buildings that you need to detect. Yeah, I need those. Yeah. And, unless you, you, like, see, you see a Forge or something. But um, Alicia going for three gate pressure. And this is a little bit worrying because, again, you don't have that Robo, you don't have that Stargate. So we'll have to see as he starts pushing out, does he drop that tech behind this push, just, knowing that it's a Alicia possibility? Alicia just started a Robo. Right. Oh, there it is. Yep. There he just started the robo. Timing's pretty good on it. Dark yep. Shrine will be up in 30 seconds. The funny thing is, I I, I almost thought JYP was going to go repower that warp gate right there. It's <laughs> a crazy proxy five warp gate nonsense. Uh, he might but try. Yeah, I think, why, why not? He, he could. Right? If, if, if you want to no, pile actually going to do it. He's there gonna he out. goes. I mean, you want to pile on in that region anyway, right? When you're pressing. Yeah, so. absolutely. So why not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. And he, he has a blink follow up to the DT. And he can arc on. If he, he could. Wants. He yeah. could. Yeah. Uh, he could definitely. One one thing some people do is you warp in three DTs, and because people use force field to buy time against the DT, but you make two archon and one an actual DT. Uh, there's a. First, I don't think JOP has the money for that, considering he's been producing a lot of stalkers and oh. like. He nice. spotted that and force field yes. it immediately. The funny thing is, Alicia walled off against possible DT there with his stalkers, so he could get a little bit extra warning, which is sneaky as hell. And now it looks like he's going to build some pylons there too. A very, very smart move, of course. Uh, the pylons will help out a lot in case it was a charge lot Archon follow-up to really uh, provide a second layer of wall. Uh, it's not going to be that, I don't think. He doesn't have no. nearly enough gas. No, well, he's been going stalkers. Yeah. Um, and, and now, I mean, Elisha obviously realizes this now because he has Observer. And in fact, the pylons could actually work against him if JWP gets high ground vision. He could potentially pick them off if he brings Militia Core or an Observer in. Uh, but, you know, it's it's it was extremely smart play because if it is a four-gate Archon Zelt follow-up. You do need those extra pylons. Wow, Alicia's going to be backing away. He might be forfeiting these two pylons. Of course, this won't supply block him, but just letting JYP in immortal. his base. Uh, well, he's, the thing is, he has an Immortal coming out right now. He's got the Nexus Photon Overcharge, enough energy for a second one. This defense should work out pretty well unless JYP is able to micro his heart out here, and turns out that that is not going to be quite enough for him. Did JYP see that Dark Shrine, though? Because that could be what turns the game around. I mean, Alicia's fended off JYP, but JYP sells map control and a formidable Blink Stalker army. But the DTs could really, really give Alicia the win if JYP doesn't recognize that tech is on the way. Alicia also has a pylon at the bottom side of the map. Uh, that would be perfect for, for DTs. That has not, it has been spotted by JYP. Oh, is and that's such a huge pylon. He needs that pylon to stay alive. JYP, if JYP doesn't take that out, I don't the think Dark JYP can finish. stop the DTs. I don't yep. think he can. Archon's about to come in. I suppose what, what's the best counter to DT? More DT. Yep. That <laughs> makes sense. DTs cannot spot other DTs. JYP is, is he's really wants to get the damage done here, but oh, a nice force field by JYP isolating those elves. All right, JYP backing away, but the DT's being sent uh, into the main, starting to slice away the probes. That, and could this be curtains? I, I think, I mean, they could even just focus that Robo as soon as he, yeah, he's, he just puts one on it. At this stage, it doesn't really matter. Uh, JYP is going to have to try to break in and kill Leecha here, but uh, there's still the Immortal. Uh, and that, in fact, just warping in a defensive DT, and uh, yeah. that's pretty much going to force JYP back. Wow. Oh, there's the blink. Time warp comes down right here. He's trying to nail down that Immortal. He does a pretty good job of it as well. Alicia was actually losing a lot of units here, but with the defender's advantage, he may be able to break it regardless. That Dark Templar is doing work here, and JYP is driven back again. And I don't think he can afford to be driven back too much because he he can't build any units anymore. He's got no he's probes. Got a, he's got a probe. He has he's got one, one probe. probe. Oh, exactly. I don't know where it is, but he's got one of them. Oh, I, is he going to build a robot in some corner of the map and then hope he can do some uh, fancy blink micro to maybe uh, somehow make, take this one back with just a few stalkers? He can build a robo. He won't have enough gas for a... Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. He has 170 gas. He can he build a robo. five more gas. Yeah, oh, five gas short of... of <laughs> he has the exact amount of minerals to build a robo and observer, but he's five short and of he, gas. And he can't go forge and cannon because he doesn't have the minerals for that. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, unless he can mine another gas with that uh, probe. Yeah, chica. the probe needs to go back home. Before the Nexus dies. <laughs> <laughs> then, he can, then he can build a proxy robo. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a way. Oh, he's got Next a lot of units. Tales of the Unlikely. Here we go. Where do all these units come from? How did JRP get them? Yeah, there's still DTs, aren't there? Yeah. Well, he wasn't the... even mining. How did he get these units? Where's the DT? No one really knows. Okay, there is a DT in the there. Sofa. And JYP is, of course, losing his base here, yeah. trying to break his way through, and he's into the mineral line. He still has units. Yeah. There is no mothership core on the field here for Alicia. He has to kill every building, though. 
when there are DPs yeah, to protect all the buildings. So I... Which is pretty tricky. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, it doesn't even seem like he's going to really get the probes either. Uh, he's a fighter, though. He is. Fantasy GG yeah. time. You know, he's been playing the Pro League. He's been watching a lot of <laughs> fantasy games. It's a very Never important tournament. Never too. surrender. Yeah. It's a very important oh, yeah. tournament, so... Um, you know, JYP is going to stay in as long as possible. There's GG. Alicia takes the 2-1. Alicia's going to be advancing to the next round. Congrats to him. Mr. Total Biscuit, how proud are you of your, your Alicia? I'm, I'm like perma proud of Alicia anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Him winning go. a game doesn't really <laughs> help that in any respect. That's awesome. All right, well, best of luck to Alicia as he continues to this tournament. Um, of course, I think we have seen something on your screen there. We have uh, EG Team Kill coming up. Uh, the Muslim versus Oz uh, wow. start. Pretty soon. Oh, that's going to be great. Yeah. All right, guys. The Muslim versus Oz is coming your way next. It's going to be another best of three. You're watching the WCS America Premier Division qualifiers top eight. Get a spot in the Premier Division. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a quick break.